Thank you for joining us to Meet a GoEd member today, where we introduce you to the entire Omega-3 universe, one member at a time. Today's guest is Tharos Limited, who will be represented by its CEO, Dimitri Sklapos. Uh, Dimitri, thanks for joining us today. Uh, thanks, Chris, for your call. And uh, by the way, I'm very proud to be a member of GoEd, great organization. So uh, I spread the word whenever I can. So I will keep doing that. Well, thank you. That's so flattering. That's perfect. Um, and, well, let's see. Let's jump right in. The, the first question I had is, what do you want GoEd's membership to know about Thados? Well, we are a, a small company. Uh, we have been uh, GoEd members since the beginning. Uh, so uh, for the people who don't know us, we have been involved in the, in the krill business for almost 30 years. One of our engineers has been with us for has been uh, in the grill since 1976. So um, we are a very flexible, small engineering company. We uh, offer custom-made services uh, for the people which are involved in the grill business. And I think we have uh, worked with all of them so far. And um, we provide custom-made solutions as we are uh, quite small company. We are very flexible on what we do and the services we offer but basically service in the entire value chain. And from your experience in the Omega-3 industry, when you look forward to the future, what challenges do you see for the, for the Omega-3 sector? Well, I, I see it in, in two areas. Uh, one is um, the, the I, I, I would say it's a collision, but maybe it's, a, maybe it's not a good word, but uh, basically the pharma industry and the nutrition industry. There's a sort of a mixing up, blurring uh, area where participants are trying to grab a large market share. So, you know, we have these large pharmaceutical companies which are uh, looking more and more how to get involved in uh, the omega-3 industry, not only in krill, but the omega-3 in general, and uh, the nutrition companies, supplements, for example, which now takes the largest share on, on, on the omega-3 uh, industry. So, I see there something that um, might, very interesting things might happen and uh, probably buyouts, mergers and acquisitions. So uh, that's a big challenge, how things will uh, balance between the two of them. And a second area I see with great interest is what will happen with the genetically modified uh, organisms, basically on vegetables. Uh, there's a, a very intense work going on on uh, you know, maneuvering the genes on vegetables to provide something similar or very similar or identical to what the marine species bring into the market. So that, that's a major challenge, how the, the, the consumers will see GM products uh, get on the shelves that claim to have the same uh, power and the same nutritional uh, benefits as marine source. Omega threes. So th those areas I see major challenges. And um, if Thados had to be represented by some kind of metaphor, like an animal or historical figure, celebrity, anything, what would what represents Thados and what in what makes it special? Ah, that's a tough one. You know, I, I would like uh, to go to to my ancestors, uh, and I would say, can I uh, reply on the logo, Thados logo? I mean, uh, Thados, uh, as you know, is a Greek word. Um, it, was, um, it was a long discussion with my grandparents and my parents. I mean, Thados means uh, a path you need to follow. Thados to Thados, uh, when you speak uh, in Greek, is uh, something you need to achieve in your life, uh, which is full of complexities and, 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 and difficulties, but you are here to uh, basically solve them and uh, to bring something good out of it. And the logo Thado, that's the word, the meaning. It's not a direct translation for that. That's the meaning of the word Thados. And uh, the logo has a, a sword, the back part of the sword, and an anchor. So the anchor, which is the bottom side of the logo, is uh, basically we work with uh, what we think it's, it's uh, the source of life, which is the sea. We love the sea. We love vessels, trawlers, and fishing. Uh, I mean, we love that. We love very much that world. And the other part of the sword is, uh, means that to be, uh, to be on the right side, okay? To do things good, to be humble, to be honest and straightforward. So to do things on the right way. So this is uh, something which is on Thanos' logo and our working motto too. That's lovely. That's so substantive and poetic. <laughs> 
Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us today, Dimitri. If, uh, I'll make sure that anybody watching the video knows how to get a hold of you if they have any additional questions. Um, uh, thanks you, Chris, and the God family. I, again, want to say that this is a big family. It's not a corporation or, or a non-profit organization. This is a big, nice group of uh, uh, nice people uh, and a great group of, of, of managers like you and the rest of the God team. Congratulations for you and the rest of the team, uh, Chris.